What you're about to see is the result of years of planning and discussions with the Golden Bay community. With that valuable input, the Tasman District Council has engineered an upgrade to the wastewater treatment plant that not only provides more capacity, but also improves the quality of the treated wastewater. It's an environmentally sound approach which protects the Takaka River using a leading edge solution. Let's take a look. Year 9 and 10 Golden Bay High School students designed the garden, which screens the entrance. They also got stuck in and planted around 600 native trees and shrubs. This means the willow trees can be removed when the new plants reach maturity in a few years. The plant receives wastewater from Takaka, East Takaka, Pohara and as far as Tata Beach. This area has a permanent population of around 2,000 residents, which doubles during the summer. Due to the number of rural properties, the Takika plant also accepts septic tank waste. It's the only treatment plant in the district that does. This means residents don't have to pay for waste transport to Bell Island. The area you're now viewing is the inlet. It has a new tower with mechanical screening, as well as a bypass screen and a buffering tank. The screening removes all materials larger than 3mm. There's always capacity for maximum flow, even in the case of power outages or maintenance. This is a significant improvement. The inlet into the first oxidation pond is submerged. In fact, the new inlet system is entirely sealed, which means there's little chance of any odour release. Again, a significant improvement. Natural ultraviolet light from the sun disinfects the wastewater. Baffles force the wastewater to take the longest path through the pond, maximising treatment time. They also help to minimise odour by preventing zones where the water is stagnant. Dissolved oxygen is constantly monitored to provide early warning of any risk from odour. What you're seeing now is a 1700 square metre floating treatment wetland, an innovative and culturally acceptable treatment step. The natural process of treating the wastewater is helped by mechanical aerators. Their movement increases the amount of oxygen mixing with the wastewater. This in turn encourages growth of bacteria and algae which work together as part of the treatment process. The aerators are particularly important during the summer when peak loadings occur. The council worked with Mana Whenua Kimohua to develop this natural treatment process provided by locally sourced Carex sector plants. Their roots soak up the nutrients from the wastewater, naturally improving the quality. This solution is also liked by the locals. The design has a mix of planted and unplanted floating membranes. The wetland blocks out sunlight, causing algae to fall to the bottom of the pond rather than flow through to the new soakage basins. Not only was this design more cost effective than traditional treatment wetlands, less land area is used to treat the wastewater, another favourable outcome. The pump station has built-in backup if a pump breaks down or blocks. Each pump is large enough to handle maximum flow even during an extreme flood or rain event. The treated wastewater is pumped to eight new and improved soakage basins for final discharge to land and groundwater. To protect the river, embankments are built to withstand significant weather events and are now further away from the river itself. Wastewater discharges to one basin at a time, rotating every two days. Thanks to the floating wetland, the underlying gravels don't become clogged. We've also doubled the number of monitoring bores to eight. The key outcome of this upgrade is that there's no longer any overflow into the creek and the Takika River is protected. We have a new state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plant providing high-quality treatment and disposal. The project was delivered on time and well under the original cost estimate. It all goes to show that if we work together to put a bit of care and thought into a poo pond, we can achieve heaps in protecting and respecting our environment. <laughs>